Hey guys, it's Simply Obsessed and I'm here with a Sims 4 Vintage Glamour apartment makeover. The apartment that's going to be getting a Vintage Glamour upgrade is 930 Medina Studios. And this apartment is found in the city of San Maishuno, of course, in the Arts District. And I'm not sure, I don't remember how much the furnished value of the apartment was when I started. But I do know that the furnished value of the apartment was a little over 81000 and simoleons so this is a pretty expensive apartment um, I like this apartment because it's kind of cheap when you start out um, you can really afford this apartment if you have a sim starting out by themselves you don't really have to cheat in order to afford it so that's one thing I love I've never really featured this apartment in my city living let's play but in my personal gameplay I do have a sim that lives here and her apartment is oh so fancy and fabulous I just love this apartment because you get two bedrooms you have lots of of space and the view is spectacular um, as far as using vintage glamour stuff pack items I want to say that I used about 90% uh, of the items featured in the stuff pack for this build the only things that I didn't really use were a door um, a mirror uh, there was a door, a mirror, a window, and a tall dresser that I didn't use. Now the reason why I didn't use the door is because it didn't look right, like it looked off. Um, I hate when a door takes up like two squares and then the doorway is three squares and you have that like one random slice of wall there. So I didn't really use um, the doors. The tall dresser, I could have used it but it didn't really fit with the room. Uh, for the one of the bedrooms that I designed so I decided not to use it um, one of the mirrors I didn't use because it just wasn't the right height and um, yeah that's pretty much it um, as to why I didn't use those items I really like the way this apartment turned out it's kind of colorful and bright but it still has that vintage glamour feel I absolutely love the items that came with the stuff pack I love it I love that picture that you see back there it's barely very Marilyn Monroe ish I love it um, it took me about four hours to completely finish this apartment. I'm very picky when it comes to flooring and wallpaper and how things match and how things work together. So it took me about four hours to do this one apartment and I'm actually pretty proud of that time because I have done houses which have taken me sometimes upwards of 12 hours to redecorate and I'm not including time to build I'm just talking about redecorating so I like the way it turned out it's really 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 pretty to me I would love to know what you think what are some things that you would have done differently or changed about this apartment if you were designing it I would love to know um, also this apartment will be available in the Sims 4 gallery but you are not able to upload actual apartments to the gallery at least not yet I hope that's something that changes soon maybe it will maybe it won't you never know but as of right now you're not able to upload apartments to the gallery so instead of um, uploading the apartments what I'm going to do is upload it room by room so it'll be um, vintage glamour bathroom or vintage glamour bedroom so I'll, I'll have to lay it out like that so that way if you want to add these rooms to your uh, Sims home or if you want this apartment you're gonna have to like put it together like a puzzle so I will upload those rooms to the gallery so that way you can have your Sims living in vintage glamour you can search for this apartment using hashtag simply obsessed or simply obsessed to eight in the Sims 4 gallery and you'll be able to see all the other houses and apartments I've decorated you'll be able to check out a few Sims I've created as well and uh, with that being said I'm going to leave you guys right here I don't want to ramble on too much and I really don't know what to talk about for 20 minutes so I'm going to leave you right here I want to say thank you for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share it with your friends be sure to to subscribe if you are new here so that way you don't miss out on all the other Sims 4 and Sims 3 awesomeness that I have for this channel. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.